most people are afraid of dying and you would think that it's probably the biggest fear in the world but when I started thinking deeply about this I found out that there is one thing that goes above the fear of death and that is the fear of being seen and it's actually quite logical and it makes sense when you look at the world so many people paint themselves up in this mask and they have this certain type of themselves because they are so afraid of being seen like truly seen that's why most people are so terrified of public speaking most people hate being on photograph or on videos and the only cause for this is the fear of being seen and what is the emotion that you don't want to be seen it's the lowest vibrational emotion there is and that's shame and I've gone through shame a lot in my life I have this alopecia so my hair fell off when I was like eight or nine and I have a video about that you can check it out if you're interested but the whole shame thing is so embedded in our societies because so many compare themselves to others and they think that oh if I only were that and if I only were this but like you can't be anything else than who you are and the trick here is to start loving yourself on the inside because once you start loving yourself you start respecting yourself you start validating yourself you don't need it from the outside and the paradox here is that you will get it from the outside when you find it on the inside and this is the craziest thing and uh, like narcissism and all these conditions are based on this grandiose thing that you need to be perfect you need to be something special you need to be better than others but in reality it's the ego is so afraid of feeling shame because that's like the the worst feeling ever and and a lot of people have been shamed and they have been taught that some of their traits or some specific thing about them is a shameful thing and then they're like realizing oh shit, that's me and then they start acting and they're starting putting on this show and it's killing them from the inside it's like I know like the, the shame I've had in my life and, and it was like mostly because of a uh, physical thing and, and like looks but also I'm from Finland and, and um, I have a background in speaking Swedish my family is like Finnish Swedish so I always felt a little bit of a minority because it's, it's only like 500,000 people in Finland out of 6 million people so I was always the outsider and I was kind of shame of that too and and all these shame feelings of, of trying to be something that you aren't it's so scary and once I started to go out and I started to talk and like even talking on video I used to hate my sound and like my voice and it, it was just like I just couldn't like get it why it sounds so weird until I accepted it and it started to sound normal because I, I got used to it and I just kind of like oh that's how I am okay maybe not everyone will like it but so what and when you start accepting yourself and being yourself truly you kind of let go of this biggest fear and it opens up so many doors to new possibilities you can start going out you can start doing things you can start talking on video 
whatever it is that you want to do is on the other side of this like shame door and uh, if we compare it to to debt i think debt is a concept that we all know that is going to be at the end so it's it's kind of this it doesn't repeat itself but with shame it's a thing that can happen over and over again so I think this fact makes the, the fear of being seen much worse and much more common than the fear of death because we all realize that, okay, like, yeah, you can be really afraid of death and, and we don't know what's on the other side and it's like your belief systems and how you see it. It's like, for me, I don't really, I'm not afraid of death because I understand that it's a natural thing and it's going to happen when it happens. And if, if I live in fear of that, I'm just going to waste my life that I now have. So I rather enjoy and do stuff instead of, of sitting there and worrying and being afraid because like when it's done, it's done. But the shame thing is like in worst cases, you can feel that every day and repeatedly and, and, and your mind thinks that it's going to happen over and over again. And that's why you don't take action and do the stuff that you actually want to have. Or you have a dream that would require to go and apply for a certain job or do a certain thing. Because your mind wants to keep you in the familiar. It, they want to keep you, it wants to keep you safe. But the safety becomes your own jail. And this is why I realized that I need to make content. I need to start speaking up because I have this experience. I have this feeling of like, no, I can't do it. Like I honestly thought like five years ago, I was like, I will never ever speak anything on social media. And I thought like, that's so stupid that people can make money just speaking like there's no point like I, I thought that I need to be like a, a this visual video filmer that creates like crazy cinematic things and, and in the reality in the back of my mind I was kind of jealous of the people that were just speaking about stuff and they had like engaged audience because of what they said and it felt like so easy and I was like that's not that's not cool but in reality I wanted to do it myself but I was just so afraid of being seen as a like dumbass or just like what what do you have to say and it was all based on my own limiting beliefs that actually never happened and the funny thing is that once I started to do more stuff and talk online and, and share my ideas and, and videos, people started to be like, yo, that's, that's pretty cool and, and that's nice. Like I haven't gotten a single negative comment yet. I, I, and yeah, sure. Like I don't have that massive following yet, but I guess the, you have to earn your haters. So, um, <laughs> waiting for that but it's it's totally fine because I understand that if someone hates me they have something inside of them that makes them trigger because I used to be that I used to be the hater who was like yeah that's just stupid why why would you do that like that's just like no way like you just talk on camera and make that a career you want to be a public speaker and, and now I kind of laugh at myself because I know how stupid I was. And there's still so many people that think like influencers and, and social media creators, they are just like stupid people, like get a real job, go on a brick and mortar, like construction work or something like that. But I've done that too. Like I've done all kinds of stuff. So I know that anything you do can be work. If it's just like even modeling, you can just stand there and, and there's a, a skill to that. So 
this whole fear of being seen is so absurd when you when you realize it that so many people are holding back because of what they think the external world will kind of give feedback on or or just like that they would attack or something and sure there is those kind of events and and things where people get attacked but still the attackers are always the haters because a person who loves him or herself fully and accept fully why would they ever hate on anyone because they understand that oh like live and let live and that's it we're all here to kind of try to find joy and happiness and excitement calmness all these positive feelings but the people who are like addicted and stuck in the negative lower emotions those are the haters and like i admit it i used to be that hater i thought it was just cool go out drink party and be just like anyone who tries anything serious is just stupid but now it's like yeah i have to eat my words so this video it's an encouragement for you to go after those things and step out of that fear of being seen because everyone has it like even the biggest celebrities and movie stars they also have it but the thing is that when you learn to act despite of the fear and you still do it even if you feel the fear because the feelings never go away you, you're gonna always feel a little bit nervous when you go and and talk in public or you shoot a video or you, you you get these emotions of like yeah i don't know what to say i don't know how to if i'm gonna pull this off but once you start accepting the fear and you kind of embody the fear and you're just like okay like i'm just gonna calm down and and the fear is okay but i'm still gonna do it and and a lot of the times that's when you get into a flow state and that's when things starts happening for example this video i didn't script it i didn't think about it in advance i had the topic and then i just go and that's what happens when you face the fear and you kind of go through it you you go with it and that's where life is because as long as we are living why would we fear something more than death and i know there's like really sad stories like people like kill themselves because of this fear of getting seen or they think that the world hates them and, and it's just like really sad stories I want to be an encouragement, like a positive encouragement to go out, be yourself, let you be seen and there will be other people who resonate with you, who feel exactly the same and they're like, yo, that's so cool, like, should we hang out? Like, I feel exactly the same, I've gone through the same kind of problems and obstacles and then you start finding your, your crew and social media and, and the internet has opened up this totally new possibility to connect with people and to engage with with new people and like-minded people because if you are from a small town or a small city it's just like there aren't necessarily the the people who who are like similar to you but you can find them online you can even move outside of your own kind of comfort zone and and you will probably find something new and exciting and i think that's what life is about but as long as you let this fear of emotions because essentially it's a fear of feeling an emotion because like you're not afraid of actually speaking or or like doing something you are afraid of you doing that action 
resulting in that emotion of shame or just like this lower kind of fear-based emotions. So once you realize that it's the emotions that you're afraid of and when you start accepting those emotions as a part of being alive, that's a gift and, and you start going into situations where you may feel the shame and then you're like oh this is what shame feels like and when you start feeling and accepting those lower level of emotions you start to raise to the higher level of emotions so that's how you kind of truly can feel joy and truly feel excitement truly feel calmness and like this ultimate flow of life because you can't get into flow and and just be without there being a small resistance so this video is just a reminder that your fears are usually an illusion that your own mind creates it's based on a limiting belief inside your head and your own mind is stopping you from creating the reality you want and creating the life that you want because we all have dreams and desires and my mission is to help people to rewire their brain and to kind of get out of this survival mode and into potential mode survival mode is the lower level of emotions the negative emotions the bad days once you start accepting those and you have tools to get higher into these positive states of emotions i have a you can check the first comment i have a project for you it's free so this tool helps you to kind of okay we're down here i feel awful i feel like shit. i don't accept myself to new empowered decisions and then you start to actually feel empowered and what's better than that we all know how good life can feel when we are empowered and joyful and excited and we're waiting for tomorrow we're waiting for the next thing to happen and it's just like yes i'm alive but if you let the fear take control of you and you let the fear of the emotions take control of you you're wasting your life so stop wasting your life and enjoy okay my name is Mitz please like this video share this video with your friends if you think it's gonna help them and why not subscribe to my channel too okay I'm gonna leave you at this if you want to learn more about limiting beliefs you can check out this video here and uh, I'll see you in the next one peace out